Hello people on the internet, welcome back to another plan with me video. I still can't believe this is the last monthly plan with me video for this year, I mean, time just passes way too fast. My color scheme for this month is inspired by this Christmas sticker set I found at a local craft store. Unlike last year when I mainly stuck with typical Christmas colors such as deep reds and greens, I'm using muted and more pastel versions of those colors this year. I've never been a fan of the red and green combo to begin with, so this year I wanted to make December pleasing to me instead of catering to anyone who might enjoy typical Christmas colors, I might lose views over that, but after all, I'm the one who has to look at my spreads for the entirety of the month. My theme for this month is cozy Christmas stocking. They are easy to draw and you can individualize the patterns for more diversity throughout the entire month. I will link the picture I found on Pinterest that inspired this theme in the description box down below so make sure to check it out. Also I always include a list of items I use in each video there as well so it's definitely worth a look in case you're curious. For my header I went with a borderless stripe pattern and in order to achieve that I started out with the lighter of the two colors so it's easier to fill it out later with the darker colors as it covers the lighter color creating a borderless effect. Also I added some snow on top of the letters and I really like how it turned out especially since it wasn't very difficult to do. So that's always a plus. The header itself took a while but it was very therapeutic because it just is filling out the empty spaces with color so basically it's just coloring and coloring is very relaxing. Then I'm adding some patterns with some colored pencils. I still love mixing these two mediums together as you might have noticed from my past videos and I'm still not over the way it looks. I'm definitely going to keep incorporating the pencils into my future spreads. Now I'm adding some Christmas ornaments, I guess, around the page so it looks a little bit more put together and more Christmassy and whimsical. I also added some shadows along the header to make it stand out more and look more defined despite the lack of a border. Now moving on to a new page. I made a very simple one page calendar because I wanted to use the right side for another spread. I'm not using any trackers this month as even the mood tracker from last month didn't really work out for me and that's completely fine. Um, I'll just come back to it whenever I feel like it again. And that is the beauty of having a bullet journal, you know, you can just skip something that doesn't work for you and you can maybe try it again later and everything is fine because you can individualize it to your liking. Anyways, as usual, I'm using my favorite gray fineliner to add in the dates. I love using the gray fineliner whenever I'm using a lighter color palette because it manages to keep the fluffy feeling and lightness that I want to achieve with the colors. The next spread is probably my favorite spread this month. It's a little advent calendar for myself where I write in something nice about me every day as, you know, little gifts to me. With nice, I don't mean like, oh, you have such nice hair or you are beautiful today, which is fine as well. I mean, if I feel like it, I might just write something like that, but I want to reflect a little bit more on my day and pick something that I'm proud of to have done or that I think I don't give myself enough credit for. Self-care is something that I've been working on and I want to continue working on in the future and I'm hoping this spread will be a nice companion throughout December 24th. Moving on to the weekly spreads. I started out with incorporating the shape of the month for my first weekly spread, which is the stocking shape. I made sure to only fill out the stockings that had a lighter color so that I could still write on it and actually be able to see what I wrote. And doing so also provides the spread with enough variety so it looks more open and less crowded. This way you'll be able to have a better look at all the things that are going on that week. 
The spreads with the shapes of the month are always such a breath of fresh air in my journal and I really really enjoy doing them, even though they might not be the most effective and productive spreads out there, but they're just like my little creative highlight in my journal. And they're also very easy to do. The second spread is also very easy and simple. It features a bigger quote written in a serif style. I wanted to keep the spread as green as possible to avoid the overall look to be too pinkish and playful. That's why I also decided to use a serif style lettering instead of my handwriting or modern calligraphy. It looks a lot more festive and balances the color scheme out in my opinion. I will also include a link to some worksheets on the serif style that I use as a reference for this quote, so make sure to check it out because they're very helpful and I'm so happy that these kind of people on the internet exist. Also while editing, I noticed how this color scheme is basically the same one I used in my July plan with me video, but you know, here's to show that colors can be used in a variety of ways. I kind of messed up the spacing of the word Christmas and I wish I had done it in the blush pink to accentuate it more, but oh well. I love using simple shapes when it comes to my themes because I can't imagine drawing something intricate every week just to be able to have the theme going on. I mean, that's completely fine if it's your approach, but it's just not mine because I can't draw that well and it would take me forever, so I'll just stick to the simple doodles of mine and I hope that they are enough for you <laughs> to get inspired. I don't know. It's just the simple things in life that I currently really, really appreciate. So this is the final outcome and I really like the spreads. I think they have a festive vibe but also represent the style that I currently have in my bullet journal. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments down below what your theme for this month is. And you can also visit me over on Instagram which is procrastinate underscore create just as this account now or this channel now um, to have a look at the spreads filled out and other aspects of my life that might be interesting. I don't know. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my content and I'll see you guys soon.